Hello people, so as you wrap up the title today, I'm going to be recommending you some gothic music if you don't already listen to gothic music. If you do already listen to gothic music, you can very well stay here and judge my taste in music. I am kind of nervous about doing this video because there are some elite goths out there who are like, oh my god, you listen to it like The Cure, oh my god, like that is, that is so not goth, oh my god. I only listen to goth that like no one ever heard of, so like, fuck off. Also, don't judge me from my background as well because I know that like a lot of elite goths out there are gonna be like, oh my god, if you're a goth you only need to listen to goth music and not anything else, and I'm like, well, I don't care. I listen to a lot of other things, okay? Fuck you. That is a thing. That there is. If, if you're not part of the gothic subculture, that is a thing that does happen. So, I do kind of like staying in the tread goth. Something is moved in my room. And if you don't know what goth is yet, because you're just like a regular viewer who's just like, hey, let's click on this video, and you're like, oh, the fuck is that? Goth is a music that developed kind of from post punk, which developed from punk. So, goth kind of developed from punk. Goth, as I've recently found out, goth is also kind of trans music, apparently. Uh, apparently, yes, it is part of the trans genre, according to some websites, obviously. It depends on what kind of goth it is. If it's more of the normal, I don't know, natural goth. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, I do know what the fuck I'm talking about, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video, now would I? For any elite goths out there watching this, like, <laughs> see, told you, you don't have to. And so this look isn't exactly the most gothic out there, but I I do like simple gothic. Like, they don't, they don't really give a shit. I don't want to spend hours and hours on end on my makeup and everything. I just want to throw some clothes together and boom, it looks quite nice. In my opinion. Let's start out with uh, the music that started it all for me. The band at least that started it all for me was The Cure. And if you want to start getting into the gothic genre, I recommend listening to The Cure first because The Cure is probably the most, I don't know, the least gothic goth music basically there is. <laughs> well not really, they do have some very good goth music and obviously they are an icon, but the, but the Cure has some music that is more, more cheery, especially in the late 90s, I believe, or somewhere in the 90s, they did produce some more cheery music and, I don't know, elite goths. If this doesn't prove that I am goth, I don't think anything does. And by the way, this is actually uh, the mixtape that my mother made back in the 90s, so that's very interesting. So yes, it was actually my mother who introduced me to The Cure, um, and in fact this these trousers, these cool silk trousers, are actually used to be my mother's back in the 90s. She used to wear them uh, probably around the time and she met my father and stuff like that and then <sighs> here I am. <laughs> in, in An interesting little thing, I'm pretty sure my father was a punk at the time and my mother's a goth so it's really cool. I am both a goth and a punk, and I'll get to the punk theme I think next week maybe. I don't know, at one point I might upload a video on some punk music. I might have done it last week because I do want to do a punk theme because this YouTube censorship needs punk right now, yeah. Okay, anyway, we're talking about goth. Fuck off. Um, and not they're quite popular, I would say. Um, band that a lot of goths listen to, and they are a little bit more post punk which is which is very goth. Uh, most most goth music originated from post punk and that's kinda that's the that's the origin of uh, goth music. Anyway, um and so this post punk uh, band is called Joy Division. You know those those uh, shirts that everyone wears with the waves and the stuff? Yeah that's Joy Division. Their their song Atmosphere was in Stranger Things. Now I would like to go on to Susie and the Banshees. Uh, Susie and the Banshees actually started off as punk, so if next week or whenever I do the video about the punk music, don't be surprised if that's also in there because they did originate as punk but then they stuck around and then they 
turned into goth. And well, they made quite a fine gothic band, if I do say so myself. And uh, the lead singer, Suzy Su. So Suzy Su is actually, well, she's also known as the godmother of goth. And around the godmothers of goth is the godfather of goth. Pete Murphy, who is the lead singer of a band called Bauhaus. If you haven't really gotten used to the dark kind of music that goth is, I would recommend to not start with this band. <laughs> I mean, I have heard of people who started with this band. Uh, I was actually in the comment section the other day of their most famous song, I believe, which is... Bella Lucas is that. I don't know, this person in the comment section was like, I was just listening to normal music, what the fuck is this? And it was kind of funny because, you know, you, you may have expected some elite goths just being like, a fish, you haven't heard this music before. <laughs> but like, it wasn't, it wasn't like that because goths are quite friendly. Goths are more friendly than some other, other people. I know that there are some other fandoms who are like, oh my god, you haven't heard of this band, go fuck yourself. But goths are quite nice, and the reply to the comment was something like, oh well, you might want to check them out, they're pretty good, I mean, I recommend quite a lot. And, and you know, the other person was like, oh, okay, maybe I might. It's, it's very nice when that happens, sometimes people just start bitching. Another band that a lot of goths listen to is Sisters of Mercy. Uh, they, they are quite well known, even my mother listens to them. She doesn't listen to too many gothic music, but she listens to like the Cure, Susie and Banshees. And you know, there are some new wave bands that a lot of uh, goths also kind of listen to. They, a lot of gothic bands kind of like, uh, they're quite good. Uh, like Depeche Mode, uh, that's a band that my mother listened to. So they're quite okay. They're not specifically goth, but they're quite okay. But uh, Sisters of Mercy is, is a goth band. <laughs> now a band that's a little bit more punk again, but it's not really that punk. They are quite goth. I don't know how to describe their music really, but they look very goth. They definitely look very goth. But, you know, it, they're not like the nice little hello-y kind of gothic feel. It's, it's, it's a bit different. But what they're all about is really the lyrics um and i think you'll understand the kind of lyrics that they're going to be writing just from the name of the band and this band is called scary bitches if you've ever heard of them you'll know that they're fucking hilarious um they are mainly female i think there might be one male member i'm not sure i'm not really all that sure because they're not that famous but I like them and I just want to recommend this band because they're fucking hilarious. Just to give you a few more ideas, uh, some of their song names include Piss All Over Your Grave, Lesbian Vampires from Outer Space. also have a song called Birds and Bees and Birds and Bees doesn't sound all that interesting but I love the lyrics. <laughs> For me, like that's the one that like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing, it's just fucking hilarious. They, they discuss everything, they discuss um, normal heterosexual relationship where, um, you know, they, they get married, they grow all together and then the male gets a bitch and leaves you for a 30 year old bitch. <laughs> you know, the fucking chorus goes, um, uh, always wear a condom, you can do just what you please, um, it'll stop you getting pregnant, um, and getting SEDs, yeah, that, that's the one, um, they're saying stuff like, um, I don't think my mother liked boys very much. Uh, and you know, your mind, your mind might turn to girlies. Don't fight it, it's okay. There really is nothing wrong if you find out that you're gay, which I love it. I love that this lyric is like, yes, there is nothing wrong with that, motherfucker. They also fucking discuss bestiality. And my favorite part is the uh, incest <laughs> part. Because just remember, Uncle Kevin's mine and don't go with your dad. If that inter if you find these kind of humors funny, I definitely recommend you checking them out. They're amazing. <laughs> if you want to check out a large variety of gothic bands, I definitely recommend you just typing in goth playlists and then just picking the one with the most amount of songs. And that fucking uh, playlist 
holy shit, it has so many fucking songs in it. It's and so many different kind of songs. Uh, here's just like a few examples. Um, there is In Death It Hands at Nine Without. I'm not sure if that's right. If, if any of these is wrong, it might just be bleh, might just be my autocorrect being a dickhead uh, because I had enough. Of, I was having trouble typing. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I had some trouble typing, so it might just be a little bit fucked up. There's also Stop by uh, Partly Faithful. Also, there's a band called Not Fair Too, but uh, you know, I kind of listened to a few of their songs. Um, they are quite gothic. I mean, their name just fucking gives it away. They're just amazing. They're very goth, <laughs> clearly. And Cast Product, they have a female lead singer. They're using like, the, it sounds very 80s. <laughs> just, it's just the most 80s sounding thing ever. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of gothic people do tend to listen to Marilyn Manson, and a lot of gothic people do like Marilyn Manson, and most of the gothic people just accept that Marilyn Manson is quite gothic nowadays, but back in the day when, in the 80s, no, not the 80s, <laughs> back in the day in the 90s, uh, yeah, like, Marilyn Manson was kind of seen as, like, not goth, and if you, like, listen to Marilyn Manson and also be goth, and, like, you'll be, like, an outcast from the gothic community. So if, if you're not convinced, if, if you still think, Hmm, gothic. I'm not sure. I don't really like it all that much. Hmm. I have just a little something for you. Her name is Elvira. And I forgot what her real name is. I'll put, I'll put her real name somewhere here. But this, but this, if I can put a picture of her here, that is what she looks like. So if that doesn't convince you to be a god, I don't think what will. So that, that's like what most of us looks like, uh, not like me. Um, as I said, I like simple things, but some people do go all out, and that's the result of going all out. So, you know, if you're interested in goth, then um, become a goth. I don't know. <laughs> Just, as I said, uh, listen to all of these bands and uh, watch her movie, which I will put in the and just watch her movie. If you like jokes at all, you'll love it. It's it's kind of like it's not really horror. It's like it's like funny. It's a it's a funny movie for goths and for anyone who's interested in females. And welcome to the gothic subculture. See you next week for some punk stuff. Oh yeah, possibly. I don't know. Maybe last week. Who the fuck knows? See you guys later. Why? <laughs>